Sony had their live stream, the state of play, uh, this Thursday, and they showed off Horizon Forbidden West. Um, it's a follow-up to Horizon Zero Dawn, which was a fairly good game. Um, the protagonist, um, the protagonist sounds like their face is fixed when they talk, which is something I didn't notice until I started watching this trailer, and it's like kind of, yeah, they're quite made of they're made of clay. Um, but we've got some exciting bits coming from it. Uh, they gave a, a nice kind of uh, video, which I will share now as we're chatting away. So let me just uh, remove that for a second. Pause that. Pop you on. Here we go. I'll just turn the volume down so we can talk as it's doing it. Um, apparently, this is going to be on the PlayStation 4 and on the PlayStation 5. Um, yeah, didn't know that until till till recently. Um, it looks pretty as hell. It really does. It's that they, they've gone for a really bright, broad color palette, which is the first thing that grabs you. And I'm sorry, I'm not interested in you, in game game director. Um, no, nope. no. Right, Patagonia's face looks like it's got fat. She's been eating well <laughs> since we last saw her. <laughs> um, but she's still she's still very athletic. Yeah, yeah, she's still very athletic. I can imagine she's just getting out of breath a bit easier. Um, <laughs> I know that the, the, the voice actress who does her voice, um, she did Life is Strange and some other things, and she did a web series called uh, Hey Ash, What You're Playing. Um, I, I don't think she's doesn't have an emotional range, shall we say. Um, she's too blank slate-ish, if you know what I mean. And I know sometimes that's a thing that they put in games. Example, Gordon Freeman, blank, classic blank slate character. Yeah, you just so you can imprint on them. Um, but she's in the in the Forbidden West, and uh, there's a lot more kind of you know creatures and bits around. And just just an example, how pretty it looks. We're watching it, and we've got what can I only describe as. It's like a beautiful color palette, a mixture of reds and purples and greens and blues and all those kind of wonderful things in there. And it's not doing it 1080p. Sorry, I was going to hit um, The dust looks fantastic. Everything looks fantastic. Yeah, all these kind of things. They put some new bits in there. Uh, the bad guys have now figured out how they can control machines like Eloy can. So you've got Raiders with those bits on them too. Um, she's got more, um, more climbing abilities. Um, her little... Uh, Bluetooth earpiece uh, now allows her to see uh, climb holds and stuff marked out yeah, digitally like in the world. So when she does a little scan, you can see here is an example here that's being shown on screen. You've got the these columns and they've got little yellow bits marked where she can have hand holds and whatnot. Uh, it looks looks great. Um, there's some other bits in there too where we've got some uh, new kind of unique weapons. Where's the? Let me find the elephant. Where is the elephant? Oh, here's the elephant. Yeah. So we've got this elephant here. And she's got the bow like she had in the previous game. And she's got this new kind of, it's like a gunk bomb, I think is the best way of describing it. It's just this big yellow gooey thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sound, sounds really rude. But a big sticker it. upper. I think I might have passed it. Where is the gooey thing? Possibly. I think I might have gone past it. Um, I'm trying to find the gooey bit. So she rides on the back. But boom. So I'm just trying to find the gooey bit. Because the gooey bit, look, right there it is. Let's just watch that again. All right, so she's got like uh It's ironic. I just if I held on for a couple more seconds. I would have been fine. She's got a uh, um, uh, catapult thing. <laughs> she's got this glue grenade, I think is the best way to describe it. The textures on it look great. That genuinely looks jammed up. If you, if yeah, you can it, see it, it really there, does. Like, it looks like it's struggling to move. It's oh, Dude, this is... It looks really pretty. I'm hoping the game's going to be good. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be... I'm worried about Last of Us Part 2 syndrome. You know, I don't think it's going to be like that, but there's there's a chance. Um, and there she's knocking off the, the, the bits on the back, and you can see the blast canisters at the back there on its ass. So, giant, crazy-looking mammoth. This looks This looks good. This does look good. This is something to be excited for. We've got finally a, a, a game that we can look forward to, to playing um, because it's like at the moment games are a little on the sparse side. Um, I'm worried though that it's going to be seventy quid when it comes out, like Returnal. 
because if it is, I ain't buying it. I'm sorry, sixty pounds, not seventy. You can do one. Yeah, um, principles, mate. Out of principles, especially, especially when there's so many sales on the on my Xbox, on my Xbox digital console. I've got I can pick up games for like three pound. They're quite good mm. one too. So it's uh, yeah. So it's, this 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 trailer that they showed, uh, a lot of people were saying it's potentially a scripted gameplay. So rather than somebody actually controlling it, that they, they've scripted that entire sequence through. I, that's um, not scripted. I don't look. I was, yeah, I'm not so sure if that's true because I've obviously played the first one. You have, and the gameplay is pretty much like that. Yeah, it, I it, wouldn't say really rehearsed. I think might be a better way of describing it. Rehearsed, yeah. Rehearsed doing it so they could get the best shots and the best visuals. That guy probably played that level through probably about 10, 20 times in order to mm. get gameplay that they wanted especially the bit where he um he's climbed up uh, he's being chased by the mammoth thing he's climbed up jumped off and he's pulled out his um i don't know what you call it like umbrella thing like in Fortnite, and he's floated down and he's turned the camera perfectly round to see the mammoth smashing through the building the old yeah. building so you okay. know he, he's done that a few times to get that shot yeah I don't think it's a scripted thing, though. I, I don't think it's scripted. As I said, we, we've played it, and it's been like that before. The the the, the, the enemies may have uh, some scripted functions in there, like you get, so like in uh, Saturday Gears of War, you fight the Berserker, and it smashes through walls and stuff. It's not necessarily scripted scripted, but it's part of the battle that you play actually in-game. So mm. I, I think this is um, this is good. This is good. I'm excited. I've got something to be excited for in the next generation. I'm just not going to be excited when they turn around and say seventy pounds. No, I mean if they do, um, I'm just going to wait. Yeah, same. That's what I'm, what I'm doing with Returnal. I'm waiting for that to go down to normal price. Shall we say A reasonable price? I mean, I I, it, I remember when they used to be about thirty quid. Um, but wow. Yeah, it's it slowly crept up and up, and then it's turned to about 40, 45 quid. 45 quid seemed to be about the norm. And then uh, it's it's gone past 50 now, 50 and now 60, 70. 60, Dip. I think 60 was, I think 60 for a brand new game is fine in my book, but that is the limit. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.